Hey fellow QB Canada members and Football Zone members, welcome to our video blog this week. Uh, I want to thank you for the great response last week. It was outstanding, you know. If you haven't seen it, it's about competitiveness and what we look for in a great athlete. So today what I want to talk about is quarterback training and warm-ups, guys. Not your traditional warm-ups and throwing, but more of the rotator cuff stuff you're going to do in the weight room. Okay, so today what I want to do is make sure you warm up the rotator cuff and the thoracic spine with a few exercises. Guys, listen, I lost a full Division I scholarship because I tore my rotator cuff. I want to make sure this doesn't happen to you guys. So let's go through the series of exercises and hopefully you'll get something out of it today. Hey fellow QB Canada members, uh, I have Nick DeJesus, one of our quarterbacks here at Football North to show you our first stretch for the rotator cuff. Like I discussed earlier, you know, it's one area we need to protect. Uh, with slouch shoulders and rounded shoulders, the kids, so many kids, you know, Nick just coming in, so many kids see on their computers and all of us in life, we have a tendency to do this, right? And with throwing, we need to stretch his capsule, capsule out and strengthen the rotator cuffs. So one of the warm-ups we like to use with a QB is just an external rotation stretch. So Nick's going to get into an external rotation. Come on up here, Nick. You just get an external rotation as far as possible without the band for a second. Oh, okay, okay. So Nick's going to get an external rotation. I'm going to put him in at 90 here, okay, as you can see. Then I'm going to give him the band. His opposite leg is forward, so it's very important in strength training or any exercise you do, you always put the opposite leg forward if you're using the one arm. So if Nick was using his left arm, his right leg would be forward, vice versa. So Nick's gonna grab the band, basically. We're gonna get a good stretch. Now the further Nick moves out, the more stretch he gets along the pec line here too as well. Okay, so Nick, let's try to keep it up there and try to get, without torquing, we try to get that position right there. Okay, so what we're trying to get here with Nick is a good stretch with the pec. He's gonna externally rotate as much as possible because it's so important in throwing. Now everybody thinks throwing comes from the arm, but it actually doesn't. It actually starts in his feet, but that's another conversation we'll have another day. <laughs> okay, but this is the final, the final extension of everything, so we want to make sure he can get he can get full range of motion when he's throwing the football. So we want to stretch that pack. So that's the first warm up exercise we like to do with our QBs at QB Canada. All well, fellow QB Canada, again, we're back with Nick, or you know, one of our quarterbacks here at Football North. So now we're going to stretch that interior capsule big time. Okay, with the great what we call basically interior capsule stretch. So Nick's going to turn around. Okay, and I'm going to give him the band. He's going to bring his arm back as far as possible. All right. So you start easy with this, and Nick's going to slowly pull his arm down to get a big stretch up here in his anterior capsule on his chest. So there's another series of stretches for that rotator cuff and that shoulder capsule to protect his capsule further on down the road. So he's a great warm-up exercise that can be done with all our QBs prior to even throwing every day. Prefer just do every day, especially in the weight room. So guys, if you can do those two great exercises for the rotator cuff, Nick, if you keep doing that, you're going to feel a big stretch in the chest because we get so many sludge shoulders and tight interior shoulders and rounded shoulders in life that we want to bring those back. Okay, next week we'll talk about strength training exercises for your rotator cuff and your lower and your upper back muscles, okay? Thanks guys. QB Canada members, we just did the rotator cuff and the interior caps and all that good stuff about our shoulder. Now we want to work on the thoracic spine area. A lot of athletes, a lot of people right now are getting locked up thoracic spines, okay? So we want to, we really want to get that range of motion in his thoracic spine, enable him to put more torque on the football. So one of the warm-up exercises we like to do is basically called, I call it the crucifix thoracic spine stretch. Okay, Nick? Yeah. You're capping, aren't you? Yeah. All right, so Nick's gonna show you what to do now. So what he's gonna do with his right arm, he's gonna keep his head down, he's gonna bring it across, try to keep that opposite leg down as well, too, turn his head. We're gonna get a good stretch here, rotate that spine, keep going back. Nick, now he's gonna rotate, go ahead. Now start the other one, so we're gonna go from one side to the other. Pretty simple exercise, but effective in stretching that thoracic spine that we need to do okay, with all our athletes. This isn't just a quarterback exercise. This is an exercise we like to do with everybody on our football team. How's that feel, Nick? Oh, great. Okay. Stretch. Hey guys, so I just gave you three exercises this week to warm up the body. You know, two rotator cuff, and two anterior capsule, and one great thoracic spine. Next week what we'll do with QB Canada the football zone is bring you some exercises to strengthen those areas. Until next week, guys, have a great football week.